Hey there, I'm Natalie France and welcome back to my YouTube channel, a space completely dedicated to cultivating self-love through the practice of yoga. If you haven't already done so, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. Today's session is going to be working your core, working those abs in relation to your core values for your self-love journey. I'll explain a little bit more about that in just a moment. Today's session is going to be working your core. It's not a long session, so you're going to get right into that core relatively quickly and feel that real kind of fire in your belly as you go through the session. With relation to self-love and your self-love journey, I want you to think about why your yoga practice is so important to you. So clearly yoga is one of your core values, otherwise why would you be here? So I'm going to assume that it's really important to you, it's one of your core values and something that you have to have in your life. I want you to focus on why yoga is so important to you as you go through today's session and keep reminding yourself of that if you feel it challenging at any point. Keep reminding yourself why your yoga practice is so incredibly important to you. You're going to start here laying down on the mat in your Shavasana. So come down to lay down on the ground. One leg either side of the mat, palms face up towards the ceiling. Close up your eyes. Let the body sink into the mat. So even though this session is going to work your core, I always like to start my sessions with some kind of relaxation to begin with. Here you're going to tune into your natural breathing, that natural rise and flow of your everyday breath. Aiming to inhale and exhale in and out of the nose as you connect to your natural breath, holding here in this space. Allow the mind to focus once more on your core values, so specifically in relation to what makes yoga a significant part of your life as you hold here. And whatever the reason is that yoga has become so important to you, to hold that at your center, hold that at your core as you work through today's session. Let that be your motivation, let that remind you why you've shown up to this yoga session today. As you begin to flicker open your eyes, hugging your knees into your chest and taking a gentle up from side to side, massaging your back onto the mat. And bring yourself back to stillness. Allow the soles of the feet to come down to the ground. So your feet are hip distance apart. You should be able to tick your heels with your fingers and feel free to press the palms of your hands into the mat to find a place for them to stay. Into your pelvic tilts. As you inhale, you press your tailbone into the mat to create an arch between your lower back and the mat. I'm just going to move my hands so you can see this. As you exhale, lift your tailbone off the ground so you imprint your lower back into the mat. You inhale, press your tailbone into the mat, creating that arch between your back and the mat. You exhale and print your back into the mat so you lift your tailbone slightly off the mat. It's literally like doing cat cows, the supine version, working that same movement through your spine, warming up the spine for your practice. Continue that movement here for a couple more rounds as you work to warm up your back body. When you get there, you're going to take one more final inhale to press your tailbone into the mat, creating that arch between the back and the mat. Final exhale to imprint the back into the mat, lifting the tailbone off. And bring yourself back to that neutral spine, your halfway point in between both poses. From here, hugging those knees into the chest and lifting your head and shoulders off the mat. For your next exercise, you can either have the palms behind the head to support your head, or if it's okay for you, hands to prayer to heart centre. You exhale, lengthen your legs, lower the head to hover off the mat and lengthen the arms out behind. You inhale to draw the knees in to your chest, lifting your head up again. You exhale to lengthen, keep it nice and slow. 
the inhale, bring everything in. Be careful with those legs extending. So you actually want to keep that back imprinted into the mat. No arm actually on the back to get the legs lower. Keep it back imprinted as you bring the arms in or the head in each time. The higher you take the legs up, the easier it will be to imprint the back into the mat. The lower you take the legs out, the harder it will be. So you have to really think about forcing your navel into your spine to keep that back imprinted into the ground. There's no need to arch your back to get your legs lower down. I would suggest that you're doing the movement wrong and it's better to have the correct technique. You're still gonna feel that burn in your core regardless, okay? So the next time you lengthen those limbs out, you're gonna hold there with the legs and the arms out, either the arms out or the hands supporting your head. Hold here, imprint that back into the mat for five, four, three, two, and one. Draw everything in, rest your head down, and then rock from side to side. So I'm certain that your core has already woken up with that movement. Like I said, anything that feels challenging in today's session, bring that awareness back to why yoga is so important for you and let that be your motivation, let that be your core study for your core workout. Come back to stillness, taking your hands behind your thighs, or rocking up to your Navasana boat pose. You might need to do a few rocks back and forth, but when you come up to your boat pose, aim to hold there about the feet touching the ground at any point. Palms can face in towards the legs if you need more support, take your hands behind your thighs. Hold it here, keep that chest elevated, no dipping, lift that chest up. Option once more to lengthen your legs nice and straight as you hold it here, breathe into it. Deep inhales and exhales. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, cross the ankles to bring your hands on to the mat and step back here into your high plank. Hands underneath your shoulders with fingers widely spread. Press away from the ground to that protraction across your shoulders, that broadening across your shoulders without dipping the back. You can micro bend in the elbows. Lengthen your gaze forwards rather than down. Lengthen the gaze to the front of the mat. Lift your navel into your spine, release or press your heels back as you hold here. Deep inhale in. Exhale, modify chaturanga. Knees down, release the toes. Elbows hug into the sides. You come all the way down to the ground. Inhale, lift your chest. Shoulders back. Either stay here for a cobra or lift up to an upward facing dog. Ideally with knees off the ground, but you can have your knees down if you need that modification. Feel that stretch in your core. This is a good front body stretch. Hold it here. Deep inhale in. Exhale, push up and back into your downward facing dog. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart, fingers widely spread. You press into the pads of your fingertips, you draw your heels down to the ground. Let your head release down for that length going through the neck. Have a hold here for the moment in your still downward facing dog. Find that stillness in your pose. And then starting to pedal at the knees. You exhale to bend one knee, inhale in your transition, exhale bending the opposite knees. Bring that movement into your downward facing dog as you walk out the legs. Then coming back to a still downward facing dog. Keep pressing the pads on your fingertips into the mat. Take your right leg up to sitting into a three-legged dog. So flex, not flex, sorry. Bring your right hip down, point your toes. So drop the right hip down and point the toes as you hold here. Take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, bring your body weight forwards into that high plank position with your right knee staying lifted off the ground. Breathe deeply here, press away from the ground, have that protraction once more across your shoulders. Take another inhale in. As you exhale, up and back into your three-legged dog. Keep drawing that left heel down to the ground. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, bring your body weight forwards once more. Lift that right knee to your chest, hold it here. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, take your right hand underneath your left thigh into your fallen angel. So the inner part of your left foot comes onto the ground and lift that left hand up to the ceiling. You might want to stay here. You might want to take it a little bit further and lift that right leg off the ground. You have to fully really engage your core, draw that navel into the spine. Use your right hand to support you. Look up to the ceiling or down to the ground as you hold in this position. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, left hand comes down. Step your right foot back into that high plank. Hold here in your high plank once more. So again, make sure those fingers are widely spread. Press away, but keep micro bend to the elbows. Take your gaze forwards. Press back the heels, lift your navel into your spine. Deep inhale in. Exhale, either take a modified chaturanga or take your full chaturanga nandasana. Inhale up to cobra upward facing dog, release those toes out behind you. Exhale, push up back into a downward facing dog. Onto the other side, deep inhale in. 
Exhale, take your left leg up to swing into three legged dog. Hold here for the moment. Press that right heel down to ground. Square your hips, your left hip drops down. Take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, draw your left knee into your chest. Your body weight comes forward. Hold it here. Press away from the ground. Keep that left knee lifted nice and high. Inhale. Exhale, take your left leg up to sitting into three legged dog once more. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, draw your left knee to your chest. Come all the way forwards into that high plank position with your left knee lifted. Take another inhale. Exhale, this time take your left leg through to the right side. The inner part of your right foot comes onto the mat. So take your right hand up to sitting for your fallen triangle. Either stay here or inhale. Exhale, draw that navel into the spine. Lift your left leg off the ground. Hold to that real core engagement. Either look up or look down. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand down. Left foot comes back to the ground into that high plank. Hold that high plank for a moment. Take your gaze forward. Take another deep inhale in. Exhale, full or modified Chaturanga and Dasana. Lower down. Inhale up to your cobra. Or your upward facing dog. Release those toes up behind. Exhale into a child's pose. Have a moment to hold here. Rest your forehead down to the ground, lengthen the arms out in front, aim to have the elbows lifted as you breathe into that stretch. Bring your focus back to why yoga is so important to you, that core value that you're focusing on today, what makes yoga so special in your life. Hold here, connect to that as you reconnect to your breathing. Deep inhales and exhales. After your next exhale, start to walk your hands back in towards your body and bring yourself to sit on the mat with your feet on the ground. Sit somewhere towards the middle of the mat, your feet on the ground, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, raise your hands up to the ceiling. As you exhale, bring your chin to chest, start to slowly bring yourself onto the mat. So slowly does it as you come down one part of the back touches the mat at a time, so you have that core engagement to come all the way down to the ground, nice and slowly. And once your head touches the mat, bring your knees into your chest and take a gentle from side to side, massaging your back onto the mat. And then bring yourself back to being nice and still. For your next option, for your next exercise, option to have your legs in tabletop, knees in line with hips, heels in line with knees, or lengthen your legs so your legs are nice and straight up towards the ceiling. Hands to prayer to your heart centre. Take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, navigate your palms over to the right side of your legs so you lift up to the ceiling. Lift up nice and high. Lift the head and shoulders off. Take your gaze up. Press the palms together, hold here. See that engagement or feel that engagement in your core once more. Take a deep inhale, exhale, come back down to the mat. One more time, take a deep inhale in. Now as you exhale, navigate over to your left side. Palms of prayer go away from your body so your arms are extended. Hold it here. Breathe deep, you can lift up an inch higher. One more inhale. Exhale, release back down, hug your knees into your chest, take a gentle up from side to side, massaging your back into the mat. Then bring yourself back to stillness, allow the soles of the feet to come down to the ground. Just taking your hands on either side of you into a T-shape or a cactus shape, depending on how much space you have next to you. Take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, your knees fall to your left as your head turns to your right, closing off the eyes. Breathing into the right side of your body, feeling that lovely stretch in your front body and your core as you hold here. And bringing once more that awareness back to your core values in relation to yoga and its presence in your life and what makes it so important, so significant in your day to day. Let that be your focus for the moment as we start to bring today's session to a close. The next inhale, let your knees pass back through the center of the exit, your knees then fall to the right, your head turns.
turn to the left, eyes closed, feel that stretch once more in your core and your front body. Breathing into the left side, focusing on how yoga helps you and what it does for you in your life. In terms of being one of your core values. As you exhale, allow the whole of your body to roll on to your right side. Take a moment to pause there before slowly bringing yourself up into a tabletop position. So finishing with a few rounds of cat cows, knees under hips, hands on the shoulders, fingers widely spread. So press the ground, press away from the ground again once more. Micro bend into your elbows. Inhale, lift your head up, arch your back into your cow pose. Exhale, drop your head down, round through your spine into your cat pose. Take a few rounds of cat cows at your own pace, inhaling and exhaling. When you get there, take one more inhale to come up into your cow. On an exhale, to come back into your cat. And bring yourself back to a neutral spine. Sit onto your heels. Navigate yourself into a cross leg position, closing off the eyes once you're there. Hands to prayer to heart center, shoulders relaxed. Gently drop the chin to chest. One more time, reconnect with your core values of yoga being present in your life and how it is at your center and what it does for you. Reminding yourself of that importance every single day and making sure that you aim to show up to the mat to do your yoga practice to maintain having that presence in your life and your journey to self love. Thank yourself for showing up to the session today, and I also thank you for taking part. Allow your gaze to lower down behind closed eyes as you start to flicker open your eyes. Breathe breath through your eyes. Just so slowly lifting your gaze. Thank you. That is the end of today's session. So a nice kind of quick core burnout for you. As always, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.